What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. In this episode we are going to be attacking the Orleans and we're going to be opening up a second front against the Mughal Empire in North America. So let's crack on and attack the city. Most of their troops are pretty weak so I don't expect too many difficulties here. But we will want to follow this up with uh, significant reinforcement because troops from um, Florida and Charleston will likely move west. So let's crack on and take the city. So New Orleans we can't, I don't think we can actually build um, any defences here which is a bit annoying but there we go we can only we can only we can only uh, play with the uh, tools we have it just means we we'll have to keep a robust watch on the city while we build our strength in this position. So we are going to be on the offensive, so our artillery is going to be sat slightly back on this raised ground. So we've got to be ready because we, they will have, well they have lots of cavalry. My, cav my infantry line is going to advance up. My cavalry is going to be out wide with my grenadiers fire it will off. And then we've also got one more unit of Regiment of Horse. Let's see. There we go. And we've also got rockets. So they're going to be deployed up to fire and demoralise the enemy. Too bad about our... Most of our quick climbing units being out of range. But I want to advance up up to the hill pretty quick. You can see they are firing shrapnel shot at us, so we need to be... My rocket's fired. Can you actually fire at the... Yeah, okay. Aim at the rear. Okay, you've got the same problem as mortars, where if I give you a target, you'll move there instead of shooting. Horse hit the bowman. Rockets inbound. It's got rid of one artillery team. You guys follow up the charge with another infantry attack. Fangy having hit the boat, uh, shooting at the bowmen, but that's not going to help them in the long run. The horsemen are going to start trying to skirmish us. You men are going to push on and hit the two Fangy. Let's get the cavalry out wide because they might be a bit vulnerable on the left flank. All my artillery engage these cavalry at the back of the map. You guys are okay where you are. Mostly. Rockets inbound. Okay, you guys ch charge the two fangy on the flank, stop them from firing into the edge of my line. But the fire by rank here is going to do some crazy damage. I'm going to pivot this unit so they don't start shooting into this combat. You're going to be doing some good damage into the flank of that two fangy unit. Switch my howitzers to round shot. Nearly got the two fangy down here. Okay, this wing push up. Get my general up to make sure they die. Pull my cavalry back here because we've got some two fangy here engaging us. 
My general can deliver another devastating charge against the enemy here. You chaps, reload and pour fire, because this is just levy coming at us now. There they go. Another charge in the two fangy there. Great damage being done. The bow unit on the... F oh, right, okay. Yeah. Brown alert. Get my general out of there. My regiment of horse might have to hold on. Quick climb. Bring all this cavalry over onto the right... onto the left flank. My regiment of horse got him. Got the two fangy. Redeploy. Okay, start focus. Let's get some of my howitzers to actually focus on knocking out some of these units in the field, because they are not clearing off in the way we would like. Yeah, my regiment of horse are down. You men can try form square to suck up those two cavalry units. What have we got coming? Levy, Bowman. You guys don't shoot at them. This regiment of foot could actually annihilate that unit there. Get one howitzer to get knock out that two fangy unit. I'd like to roll up the flank if I could. The other unit. Attack ground. No, he's, he's trying to break the square. Don't do it. Okay, let's you guys like so there we go those horsemen are going to get repelled as they fail to break the square You men advance, ready to fight the levy. These two units are against the levy alone, that should be fine. Rockets are now shooting in a place we don't really want them to be shooting, but... Cease fire. See, if you hit, the, if I get you to try and attack the levy, rockets... You guys can now fire at will, because that regiment of line infantry is now no longer at risk. Both my howitzers fire round shots, start chasing this general's bodyguard around. Same with all my field artillery, really. There you go, he's been struck down by artillery fire. Whatever you want to chase down my cavalry. So he's still focusing on the general's bodyguard. They're doing a great job mowing them down. Charge the levy, get my infantry involved. And they gotta stop their charge. Now my infantry also gotta get stuck in. These bowmen 
also want to get stuck in by the looks of it. Rockets are also going after the... Oh no, they're not. They're going after the artillery. Way to the rear. Good. Okay, let's halt the rocket fire. And let's get my general up into their faces. Human advance up. General, Master General's bodyguard. There's the artillery. But then these guys are going to rout. Yeah, there they go. There goes the Master General's bodyguard. But the artillery. Chomp. What? What? No. Sorry, Ernesto. Your brother fell in Louisiana. Okay, so let's go and pick... Let's pick a veteran cavalryman to be a new general. Oof. Yes, let's pick a... Fabrizio Carascon. Carascon. See men replenish, we're going to repair. We can get some of our ships into port. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got two armies here. Which are still in the process of replenishing. Although one of them... One of them... Just go over and kill the rest of those units. So these units are replenishing. You can stand to lose your militia and instead take an infantry unit. Okay, there we go. So these two armies are replenishing. So it's going to take a bit of time. But uh, get there we will. We will get there. Give them some support. I can, oh, I can spare one army to join them. Another army needs to take Nassau. They're quite well positioned in the north. I might actually get you guys back in case they attempt a to push around here. So you're advancing. See, we've got these native territories to deal with. Three turns till you get your new to get your new town. Let's get a native warrior auxiliary. This. This army, let's upgrade the infrastructure. Good stuff. Okay, let's... I want them to come at me, really. And I want my armies... Well, you'd actually be... Well, both of these are actually in pretty bad shape. So let's spread out the armies that are good and the armies that need replenishment. And back at Quebec, you still recruiting? You are recruiting, good stuff. So Lower Louisiana is ours for now. Don't need any tech in Europe. You join up there. Okay, um, it's... The, the way to do it might be through city, you know, a quick city attack, because that'll get rid of all of these armies. That's probably the thing to do, but not with you. I'd like to do it with Ernesto Defendi. Because you aren't going to get to... Well, I mean, we could just take Persia. But... Mm -hmm. I mean... Let's try to demand their surrender. No, but the army's pretty depleted. It's probably not worth a full-on siege. So let's... Let's take it. We know that there's an army coming right at us. 
But at least we're inside walls. You... Wait a minute. Those are captured, but... Those are... Yeah, but... Oh, is that their only territory? Oh. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, because that's Mughal. That's Afghanistan. Yeah that, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So where's your university? There it is. So we're going to knock that down and we're going to replace it with a church school. All of these other top tier economic upgrades can be made. My spy is on his way over towards mainland India. Everyone's on the march. I would like, well, I'd like Ernesto to be the guy who attacks the city because this guy has got a couple of skirmish units that well, he's not really got the, the right makeup. I'd like this army because I've got a good solid block of pretty elite marines now to attack the city. I could bring them in as reinforcements. Let's get a galley open to there. Okay. So there is a British fleet, but I don't care about it. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to uh, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to uh, just uh, ignore ignore the fleet. Ooh, okay. So did one of you guys want to go to join Arnaldo Fries? And you want to go join Nicolo Luzzatto? Because Georgia, like I said, they're upset with us. I can understand that. I think I want to hit in turn. The next turn I want to use Ernesto to attack Ardabil, knock out Britain, and then it's going to be a mass dash up to the border with Afghanistan. And then it's going to be attacking the Mughal homeland. Maybe now is the time we start shipping over armies to attack India. So let's, we're not sending over full fleets. Fractional fleets are okay because they'll all build up. It'll take them a few turns to get over there. Although actually I might have to be a bit more sparing if I want to send them all over now because they do have... I mean, Malt should be okay, right? Minus six. Ah, okay. So you're actually going to be... You're actually going to be a bit late. One turn late. Let's get this third rate to pick up Fabrizio. There we go. Let's get you over... to India. Then we've got... This fourth rate, Costanza. Pick up Nino Setti. No Nino Chetti. I'm not super hot on Italian names. I don't really. Unless it's blatantly obvious, I'm most likely to screw it up. Okay, so then let's take. This is a bit of a gamble. Get you aboard a sloop. Get you also over there. Good stuff. So yeah, we need to hold on to you for a turn, just to make sure you don't do anything stupid like rebelling. Okay, I think we've got now these chaps up here. Okay, you guys need transport, so something... One turn. Is a six rate one turn? Servo vostro, signore. Signore. There we go. Let's march up. Although well, you still need. Yeah, you're still recruiting. You need one more unit, which I'm going to steal from you. Oh, you're going to be very cavalry heavy. Nope. You need three units of infantry. 
pick a Swiss Guard unit. Let's try get oh, everything else has been maxed out. So let's make sure we pick regular line infantry, not colonial line, because it will take forever. Well, I can't remember how much space you had. Let's get another 24 pounder for you. Oh, looks like these, that's where these guys were going to go. Okay, you guys get over here. The recruitment of... Your recruitment of... Oh, I was getting confused. Okay, so you've got two slots. You're going to get a Swiss Guard unit and a field artillery unit. Oh, the second monitor dropped out there. That's a bit odd. Get you over here as well, because you guys can combine with this cavalry. You cavalry are forced to create a new army. Same with you. Alonso Russo, let's bring you up. So next turn, that's four more armies we can land in in India. So let's hit in turn. You all my armies are continuing to push up. So much firepower. So much firepower. What's that? Probably a dozen or more full stacks. These are my um, agents going around now. More than that. 15, 20. Yep, that's the result of pushing our way across Europe. So much firepower. So Britain might actually march out to try and fight us. Maybe. Um, I mean, it's quite... They've got a lot of good reasons to not do that. But yeah, we're going to try and go for a... Ooh, that might have... Might have... Messed things up for us. I mean, if they do... Well, if they push out to attack us, we can destroy them in the field at least. It might delay it a turn, but look at... I mean, look at all these... Look at all these troops. That's probably why the game is chugging, because it always... Ooh, I mean, if you're going to march away from the town, that's fine. Uh, no, because I don't want to fight it, and I don't want to... Ooh, okay. I should do this, because that'll draw in loads of British troops. I don't think it draws in them, but it definitely draws in these two, and potentially the garrison. So yeah, let's do it. Go on, Baldazare. Let's push off these British dogs. They think they can survive by falling back to a territory on the Caspian Sea. They are wrong. We in our glorious Catholic might will dig them out wherever they lay. And then we will soon be on the path to India. And then we can land a bunch of armies in Bengal to the south. We can swamp the Mughal Empire. And that would be really interesting to see what happens in the Americas. Because we've got, we've got so many armies attacking India that there's a real chance that we destroy India as a faction before we win in the uh, the Americas. So, can't go crazy because ammunition will become a concern. So let's go with... Okay, that's... that's okay, even then that... Okay, let's go for... For three units, three infantry wide formation let's go for two on the flank two on this flank she has to point my other so an empire i'm pretty sure artillery in trees is fine i don't think i don't think the trees interfere so then each each uh, section has one elite unit of infantry in reserve. 
And we've also got three howitzers, one per section. And I mean, this, we, we could well get screwed over by deployment here. Kind of. Get this regiment of horse out here to, to assassinate that artillery crew. And how it says all want to be focusing on their line infantry. Dag! Colonial line. Okay, let's fold my my reinforcements on the my reinforcements on the left into fight. Keep my cavalry ready. Bring my reinforcements in on the right. Let's bring my heavy cavalry to bear. Okay, I actually fancy my chances here. Clear out two of these artillery units and we can avoid the 15th regiment. The 15th regiment are going to get a bit of a pasting from this quick climb anyway. Enemy general has been killed. First Colonial Light Horse are aware of what I'm doing. Twitch canister shot, folks fire the land the um folks fire the targets that are on the field at this one time. So we're going to want to fight and then run away immediately. You guys drop into square. Hopefully that'll be enough to push the light cavalry away. Charge down the 4th Regiment because we do have Okay, so we want my field artillery to be attacking battlefield targets. Run away, you're going to get shot at. Run away. So I want to focus fire there. Focus fire there. Um. Yeah. Focus fire their infantry units because we're going to start. I want to knock them out as quickly as humanly possible. Because I want to try and conserve as much ammo as I can. The generals charge that unit. So we're going to start trying to fight the colonial cavalry. Bring you guys to bear against the 11th regiment of horse artillery. Start shrapnel shotting. So I really want to just knock them out. You guys can knock out the colonial light like, cavalry, you can. Okay, let's get you guys back here. You guys get out of the way. One of you guys shrapnel the Amazons, the other shrapnel the enemy infantry. Chase down the colonial light like, cavalry because they're running towards a unit of artillery, which would be useful to kill. Let's limber up 
that unit of artillery. You guys hit the 25th. These guys are all... They should not stick around. Bail. Oh, quick, quick climb and shrapnel shot. What a beautiful combination. Just pivot. This artillery, let's bring in... You guys, let's bring in... These reinforcements. Run my cavalry back. If those guys are done for, let's limber up. Ah, go away, AVG. <laughs> AVG popped up and said, hey, you've got no threats. And it's like, nice one, AVG, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I know some of you guys are going to go, why are you using AVG? I'm such a fool. And you know what? You're probably right. But, uh, habits... you guys into square okay they are gonna unsurprisingly summon the mark coming back so let's get one unit to face the new the direction of the new threat the other unit can sit on let's just angle them Blast the 55th with canister shot. So you guys are trying to clear out the enemy infantry there. Let's get this regiment of horse over on the left. There you go, the 55th are gone. You guys switch to shrapnel shot and aim at the 14th. You guys hit the militia, you guys hit the 14th, you guys hit the 11th regiment. Let's charge the colonial line on with my cavalry. So I do have more heavy cavalry ready. So this unit back here is going to sit here firing round shot. So, aim at the 22nd. There we go, cut open the 69th. <laughs> Let's take the heavy cavalry, charge them down. Who are you? Horse artillery. You guys hit the 22nd, you guys also hit the 22nd. Yes. Two guys, I might even pivot them preemptively to keep firing at the right keep firing at this army that's coming in from over here she goes drop shells on the 11th you men keep blasting the troops as they come in you guys get out of square One unit here, it's these marines that aren't firing. Fire! Canister shot these militia to help free up the flank. Some good hits here against the militia.
No, oh, Buccaneers. Don't worry about Buccaneers. So you guys can quick climb the 22nd because they just sat down in square. Yeah, you guys better figure out something to do. You guys shrapnel shot the 1st Regiment of Colonial Dragoons. Although the shrapnel shots blew up too early. Hit the Buccaneers with my cavalry. You guys at the back should be doing counter battery. Oh, nice of the Dragoons to dismount right in front of us. So those Buccaneers are likely going to come back. But let's get these guys fire it well off. Start to cast a shot, the reinforcement, the enemy um, troops coming in. Keep on quick climbing the reinforcements as they enter the field. This is manageable. This is manageable. Pull my cavalry back on this flank. So this Howard's team focus on dropping shots on the light horse. This unit focus fire on the left. Keep blasting the 32nd. It looks like they are gonna... well, this left flank, it looks dangerous but it's actually more manageable than you'd think. I mean they clone your light cavalry, I don't know why I'm running. Ooh, the shrapnel shot was aiming at the light cavalry. this artillery piece back here aim at that demi cannon unit they've knocked out one of the guns but not enough let's condense these units together aim at the 39th to shot the first regiment these will fire at will what are oh, they're all stuck because they're waiting for this guy to climb over the bridge to climb over the, the fence who's doing it in super slow-mo he's finally caught up and realized that's not what he wants to do Artillery to work out, work on cleaning out that militia unit. Pull the cavalry back. Pull my infantry back. You guys charge the 39th. Now I'm going to retarget all my hearts again immediately after I've just targeted them. Cavalry charge should. There we go, that's them broken. So let's kill them a bit more so they're shattered and then fall back. Who are they? Desert warriors on the, they're on the march. Managed to shot the first regiment. Still got men coming in. 
So optimizing my quicklime fire firepower never became so important. See if we can get rid of that unit of militia, hopefully. I think there's how it's fire coming in. If not, my volleys will soon deal with them. So this artillery piece here, still blasting him with square, hit the 57. Soon it looks like this. Yeah, this flank is very upset. Still coming in from over here. Let's get some of my. You guys try make the distance towards the desert warriors before they can open up against you. They're not going to go down easy, but I've got to do it. Going down pretty well. We think that's this this army's now dead. So if we can knock out this infantry. Hey, the, if you 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 guys, you guys are champs. Chase them down. There we go. So you guys keep firing shrapnel. I think they're starting to uh, starting to thin out a bit. As, they, as we rake multiple units with canister shot. Beautiful. Yep, a late tier army is able to put out so much. A late game uh, army is able to put out so much firepower. And this is why I like empires, because you get battles like this that are just. span the entire map. Everything's going on in different places. Each individual part of the map has their own little idiosyncrasies. Yeah, I just think it's really fun. 114th, they're out of ammo! Get them to bayonet charge. They're going to charge from the front while the 15th Regiment charges from the rear. They're not going to make it if I don't get the cavalry in. There we go, so we've surrounded them. And you guys blast shrapnel shot into that breach over there. They're still coming in. Oh, the Desert Warriors came back. Understandable. We're going to open up on this unit here. You men have run out of ammo. To be honest, they're serving. The job they're serving is meat shield to prevent them from advancing. Oh, that was there. That was our guys routing. Right. Okay. Let's get some cooperative fire going on here. You don't have to kill him, just don't rout. So who's gone? Well, you're routing. You're almost out of ammo. You are out of ammo. And the enemy is still coming. So I'm trying to deploy my 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 um, 
well, lots of these units are actually having to stay in the field because they can't afford can't afford to move them out. If I move them out, then I create gaps. So you men advance. These units are standing as they are just a shield. If they shoot at them, they're not shooting at my marines who have ammo. How much ammo have you guys got? Not a lot. Better than none. You guys have some. Oh, Ernesto. It's beautiful to see you, but go away. We don't need any more cavalrymen. Let's get rid of that cavalry unit. You guys might actually fall. Whoa, okay, no, don't. You guys are going to fall back a silly direction. You're going to run towards them. I don't really need more cavalry. They're still coming in. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep it because you don't don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I, mean, I don't quite know where you go. I might as well just run them off manually until they get closer to a map edge. There we go, these guys have some ammo, they can provide some firepower. So much. So many troops. It's all militia, which is thankful. Thankful for that, but... My god. You guys fire at will. You guys fire well off. So you have... One unit of fire at will at a time. You guys try hit the colonial militia. You guys back here... Well, aren't even firing. You guys run away. Horse guards, they're useful. But infantry is, is better. To be honest, just open up. There we go, those men are falling back. Blast them with shrapnel shot. Swiss pikes. No, 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 no. I don't want them coming anywhere near me. Let's get my heavy cavalry over to the other side of the map. Keep this cavalry skirmishing around on the left in order to try and provide some... Something a bit more of a something more of a deterrent. Blast him. These marines running, heavy cavalry's here. So you can hit the militia. Let's get you guys involved in that melee combat. It's 
So we've got some infantry coming in, but they're they're very far away. So this cavalry is providing quite good bait for some of these units to keep attacking around to the left rather than massing. So then we're hitting their militia here. Come on. You're being attacked by both cavalry and infantry. The end should be near for you. So keep attacking them for a little bit just to make sure they they're shattered. Yeah, these are Swiss. These Swiss pikes are up to no good. You guys hold fire. All the artillery hold fire. Commit my general into the fight. Chase down the Swiss pikes, don't worry about the buccaneers. But yeah, this is... I think we've... Well, it looks like some of them are coming back. But... So let's charge the units that are currently melee only into the fight. Get all my howitzers, switch to round shot, engage 23rd back in the rear. You men charge the buccaneers. They're eager for the fight. So the horse guards face down some of their militia blobs. And some of them, oh, they came back right at the edge of the map. Ooh, you're... Okay, let's bring these infantry units back to the line. So, two artillery units. How it's shot them, you guys. How it's shot the 24th. So you chase down the militia here. You guys are chasing down the buccaneers. Yeah. Good stuff. Took a bit of rationing, but we did it. Let's make sure we kill as many of them as we can now. And I mean, obviously, I'd rather I'd rather kill infantry units, but to be honest, they've got so much rubbish lying around like in terms of these sorts of militia units and whatnot that there's no real critical reason to, to get too picky so our reinforcements are showing up with all of their ammunition reserves you guys are going to trot back over here ready for when these guys are broken Come on, 22 militiamen, you can deal with that. I know you're armoured and you're heavy and tired and so on, but... Yeah, there they go, they've been cleared out quite... Uh... Damn right, continue. So let's just speed up time. All my artillery stop firing. My general, so I want him to chase down the colonial line. When they're, when they're right there, I'd like to... I really want to try and prioritise their most capable units, but when they're just kind of spread out all over the field, it's like, eh, take what you can get. There's one militiaman up here, then there's one down here. Good, we got him. They are going to escape. There's an artillery unit that we will deal with. Yeah, 
right, they've routed, so then you guys might need a bit of artillery to come in to deal with them, but I think they can deal with it. It's just a frozen artillery team. Yes. There we go. So that is those British... 15,000 British troops, and they've lost more than half their number. Back you go. I mean, that's just the most annoying direction for them to go, but whatever. But it looks like they might have left their um, capital unprotected. Or less protected, at the very least. Oh, that's going to be a, a gargantuan battle. To the point where I think I'm just going to start needing to recruit stacks of infantry in Quebec. Just infantry and infantry and infantry. I mean, they're clearly waiting for me to attack. It's like, no, when they've got that such huge mass, it's like, no, I want, I want them to attack me so that I just have to survive to win. You can start to see some of their troops are actually moving down towards Louisiana. Oh, <laughs> they're coming, all right. They're coming. This is why it's so important to keep squashing and just constricting their economy. Force them to fight on so many fronts. They can't hold everywhere at once. Fortunately, Louisiana is a military, has a military governor's barracks, so we can just start spamming out recruitment of um, infantry. But the Huron... Yeah, the Huron are going to uh, Sally at Fort Salt St. Marie. And looking at the timer, oh, yeah, because I've, I've got things to do this afternoon. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for this might be the destruction of the Huron. Um, we've got some pretty battle, good battles lined up in, in future. Uh, we've got the Mughals in North America, and we've got potentially the destruction of the British. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.